significant work has taken place uh, in both countries since our last media briefing in 2014. Indeed, the Swazi Rail Link will have positive spin-offs such as improving people's lives, support, the most important thing is our regional integration in SADC, and also accentuate the promotion of intra-Africa trade and economic sustainability throughout our infrastructure investment. So our infrastructure investment in Transnet is not just confined to Transnet and within the boundaries of South Africa. Just to recap, the new rail link which will start in Lothe on the South African side and end in Sidvokodvo on the Swaziland side will be approximately about 150 kilometers long, with 50 kilometers on the South African side and 100 kilometers on the Swaziland side. And uh, this line has been designed to carry 150 general freight uh, wagons at a time and will be operated as a seamless service uh, without stopping at any of the borders, either into Swaziland or out of Swaziland. This joint pro project is going to bring a lot of benefits to Swaziland and South Africa. And I think for many years, uh, we did not have a direct link and yet, uh, Swaziland trades, if you look at it from a, a province, the nearest provinces, Mpumalanga and Hauteng, uh, most of the flow of trade in terms of exports uh, and also in terms of imports uh, come from. And it, the, the long way around has been uh, through Nkomatipot uh, Nurse Plate, which, is, uh, which adds 400 kilometers. With this connection, it is actually going to reduce the cost of uh, transport. It's more direct through Swaziland, more direct to the ports of Richards Bay, uh, also including Mozambique at a later stage. Therefore, it is a, a project that as implementing agents of, of, of governments, and also we thank the teams that have really put a lot of effort and time, and it's a complex project, but they have been uh, working at it, working with many other people and uh, the, the expertise to make sure where we are. The next step is actually to look at the relocation and resettlement in Swaziland, if I were to talk of a number of nearly about 235 homesteads. Again, we work closely with the regional administrators, the traditional authorities, and we are glad to say there is cooperation. But all the time things can change because we are dealing with people. However, we are sensitive to make sure that whatever they say, we listen to them and we work with them. So in short, this project is gaining momentum. At the moment, if you look at the GFB traffic that runs on the coal line, uh, you're looking at about between 15 and 17 million tons. So what we have done with Swazi Railways is we've taken the current GFB traffic and also we've done a forecasting of this new line, the rail link, and what that will be able to carry, which can go up to even 22 million tons of general freight traffic that will be diverted off the coal line, then go on to the Swazi rail link. For us at this point in time, the initial study, uh, estimates from the studies indicate between 19 and 20 billion rand, including contingencies on both sides, on the South African side and the Swaziland side. Uh, the second thing is we've not been prescriptive about uh, the type of model, but what we've said is, is that when we go out to market, uh, we are not going to look at a concession. There, in our view, there will not be a concession. Where Transnet needs to operate, we will operate. Where Swazi Railways needs to operate, they will operate. Uh, but we'll be looking at some kind of a special purpose vehicle where in Swazi Railways, uh, Transnet, as well as a potential funder or funders will have an equity participation in. The model that we are working on now is the, the SPV. What does it mean? It means that uh, actually it's a it attract project financing uh, such that the revenue to be generated will then be used to pay back and of course meet operating costs. And of course, how then, how many uh, participation investors, financial houses, um, it, it will be open because I don't think it's a case of one taking all that, but there will be an entity that is responsible. After maybe 20 years or 25 years, then let us say 
when the loans have been repaid, therefore everything will uh, kind of that entity SPV would like uh, become dissolved.